Angie, hey, we're gonna learn it from Angie. Ah, uh, she's a robot from Sweet. We're gonna learn it from Angie. That's me. Welcome to Engineering Expo. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Hi, I'm Shayna. I'm an aerospace engineer and I work as a product manager at Textron Aviation. I'm also on the Sweet Expo Committee. Today, I have Megan with me. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Director of Education at the Kansas Aviation Museum. And today we're gonna to be talking about air density and how hot air balloons fly. Here's a list of materials that you'll need. What is air density? Air density is actually the thickness of the air. The air has something called molecules in it. Molecules are invisible to us, but what these molecules do is when it gets really cold, they bundle up super tight together, causing the air to be more dense. However, when they get hot, they don't want to be near each other anymore, so they spread out as far away from each other as they can. That makes sense. What does that do for a hot air balloon, though? So hot air balloons, you need that hot air to fly. So what happens is as you have that hot air going into the balloon, it will expand out the balloon enough to eventually create enough lift to have it fly. I actually have an experiment right here that'll show you just that. Let's do it. Okay, so we have all our materials here. If you're doing this at home, make sure you have help getting hot water. We don't want anyone to get burned. Okay, so I have my empty water bottle here. And I'm gonna take the balloon, but before I put the balloon on the empty water bottle, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit to make it a little bit easier for me. And what I'm going to do is put the water or the balloon over the top of the water bottle, just like that. And actually, Shana, would you mind helping me with this? Sure. So what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and just dip it in the cold water for a second and okay. tell me what happens. Doesn't look like anything's happening. Actually, the balloon's kind of being pulled in. Okay. So let's get that out of there. We can dry off the bottle a little bit. Okay. And then what I'm gonna have you do is go ahead and then put it into that warm water. Watch your fingers so you don't get burned. And let's wait a second and see what happens. That's really cool. All right, now go ahead and pull it out of there. So what happened is that air was expanding out. Go ahead and put it in the cold water. Can you see? Oh, well, the As rest of that air gets pulled back into the bottle. Exactly. So if I have a different bottle at home, would this still work? Yes, any size bottle will work. Um, it just may take longer or shorter time for you to notice what's happening. So let's talk about what happened in that experiment. When I put the water bottle in the hot water, the hot air expanded out. Those molecules were trying to get as far away from each other as they could, making the balloon expand. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened when we put it in the cold water? Yeah, when I put it in the cold water, the balloon shrank. And I think that means the molecules were bundling up like you talked about earlier, getting closer together. That is exactly right. So I have a question for you at home. Think about what happened with the balloon and the hot and the cold water. What other things do you think are affected by temperature? Write down your answers in your engineering notebooks. Thank you for joining us. I hope you learned something with that experiment. Take a picture or a short video of your experiment at home and post it to our event page for a chance to win a prize. Until then, see, see you, you next, next time. about earlier and the balloon shrinked again. Exactly, they were shrunk, all trying to shrink. Shrunk, shrunk, shrink, shrink. Oh no, it shrank. We're gonna learn it from Angie. I think it's shrank. Why do helium balloons shrink? The balloon shrank. I have shrunk the gene. Past participle is shrunk. Yeah, when I put it in the cold water, the balloon shrank. And I think from sweet, we're gonna learn it from Angie. That's me. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.